Hey, welcome back everyone. Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today it is all about the Quest 3. That's right. So moments ago, as many of you may have seen, Mark finally revealed the headset to the world. It's not like we didn't know it was coming. I mean, there's been lots of leaks, but now it is officially out there in the wild and because of that, we can finally talk about it. And man, I've been chomping at the bit to tell you guys this, but a couple weeks ago, Meta actually flew me to New York to check it out for myself. And I can't thank them enough. It was awesome getting to see the headset, getting to hang out with some of my fellow content creators from the Quest Content Creator Program. So what you're gonna see here are my first impressions of the Quest 3. You know, I gotta say, I was really excited about getting to see New York for the first time. I mean, who knew there would be trombones playing in the subway? We're not here to watch a vlog of my trip to New York, we're here to talk about the Quest 3. So shortly after arriving at the event location, I was greeted by some of my fellow content creators in the Quest Creator Program. After mingling for a bit, we were taken to a room that had a collection of Quest 3 headsets laid out. It was great to see all the different strap and facial interface options. I like that color. I did too. I was just gonna say that. I wasn't expecting the colors. Just look at those beautiful pancake lenses. Meta also had a really cool mixed reality multiplayer demo set up for us to try called BAM. And you know, I've got to say, this was quite possibly one of the highlights of the evening for me. Mixed reality truly brings back that old school feeling of couch co-op gaming and we all had a great time playing BAM. I can't wait for y'all to see it. After getting my first taste of the headset, it was finally time to make my way downstairs for my demo session. First up was a new meta onboarding app, First Encounters. This was an awesome way to showcase the power of mixed reality experiences that the Quest 3 will be able to provide, and seeing this demo almost made me feel like I was seeing VR for the very first time all over again in a completely different way. I love mixed reality. This is great. This is nuts. What's up, little guy? How does it feel from a freedom perspective? Okay, it's really good. Uh, so tracking is great. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not having any sort of lag or latency. Controller tracking is one thing I really, really wanted to see because, you know, obviously these are very akin to the Quest Pro controllers but without the cameras. And I gotta say, this new AI algorithm is really doing justice. I am not, not hating on the tracking. Now, occlusion? Yeah, you're gonna get it. But so far, everything is super precise. And visually pleasing. I mean, this is definitely a step up.
Next up was the highly anticipated Stranger Things VR game from Tender Claws, and while the gameplay was solid and the visual experience was great in the Quest 3, the demo didn't use controllers and relied solely on hand tracking, and well, in my opinion, it did fall a little bit flat in terms of some of the hand interactions, but either way, fans of the show will for sure want to experience this as both the VR and mixed reality sequences were really it's time. How are the shadows? Shadows are okay. Um, I, I gotta say, it's, the MR, it's kind of a little disorienting because mm -hmm. you still kind of have a twinge of blur from the camera. Um, but the VR part of the graphics are super crystal clear. After shaking off the fear from the Stranger Things demo, it was time to change it up a bit to something more lighthearted and, well, shake some virtual maracas in Samba de Amiga. This one's a cute new rhythm game coming soon for Quest, and although it's not typically my preferred style of VR game, I will say it looked and sounded great, and I actually found myself getting into it and not wanting to stop. I wanted to play more, and for me in a rhythm game, that's not usually the case. So. For those of you who love this style, this genre of gaming, Samba de Amigo will for sure not disappoint. Alright, let's see some right. Assassin's Creed. Yep. The last gameplay demo I got to do was Assassin's Creed, and after much anticipation, I can say this one was great, and it definitely lives up to most of the hype, so the visuals and audio were really good and the gameplay was smooth in both the parkour and fighting sequences, but the one thing I wasn't expecting was the way that you control the parkour. I, using timed button presses and not VR movement mechanics definitely for sure brought back some familiarity to the control system of playing it on say like a PC port or a console. But as a VR vet with solid legs and an iron stomach, I, I was definitely hoping for something a little more intense. But either way, I got over it really quickly and became immersed in this richly detailed world. So you're going to love Assassin's Creed in VR. All right, so I got to say, that was really good. Um, definitely going to have some thoughts on this headset really soon that I'm going to compile. But overall, first impressions were not bad. So, all right.